In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving number base with Casio FS 901ES class with calculator or Casio FS 570ES class with calculator. Now that I'm going through this video, we'll be able to solve problems involving number base calculations or conversions. So ensure you stay with me till the end of this video because I'm going to explain a lot here guys so ensure you stick with me to the very end of this video okay before we get the cash calculator let's quickly look at the problems we will be solving together here okay so question one has to convert this value in base 2 to base 10 okay we do it together with the calculator this one convert this one this number to base 8 we want to convert this number in base 10 to base 2 convert this number in base 8 to base 2 add these two binary numbers subtract this binary number from this one find the product of this binary number convert this number in base 10 to base 16 that is a decimal and this one divide this number with this number in base 8 okay guys very very easy with the calculator so right now let's get a calculator and go straight into the details of this video okay guys this is a calculator this is as your first another one years class with calculator okay so the very thing you have to do first is to clear your calculator very, very important guys the essence of doing it is to put your calculator in default mode that it will remove wipe out every previous value or mode you might have put the calculator on so guys to clear calculator for those of you that don't know how to do it to clear very simple just for shift button 9 for the instruction you want to initialize or you press straight then press your call to this stands for yes and press your call to go again or ac key anyone we serve so guys we have cleared the calculator Having cleared it, the next thing you have to do, which is very, very important, is to put it in base mode because since we are dealing with number base here, binary numbers, we have to put it in base mode, guys. So to quickly do that, you go to menu, press here, then select it from here, move and get to base. See, we have first base, so this is base base n so that's option word three so this is the mode of the calculator that will enable us to solve the problems we have here okay guys so once you click on it it will bring it to this place now this this is decimal that's in base 10 now another term another word for decimal is denary or base 10 so the two of them mean the same thing so since this is decimal, that base 10, and question 1 says convert 11011 base 2 to base 10. That means we have to put this in a binary to convert it to base 10. As you can see, it won't work like this. This is decimal, that's base 10. We have to put it in binary, that's base 2. All that work for binary is what base 2, guys. Very, very simple. So to remove this one decimal, which is the same thing as base 10 to binary or base 2, you simply go to this place. When you look at this lock button, you will see BIN on top of it. It stands for binary. So you press this button and you change to binary here. So once you do it, then let's impute this value we have here. We have 11011. One, one, one. So binary is in base 2. So once you are done, guys, just press equal to so this is a value in base 2 since we want to convert it to base 10 we simply press look at decimal i told you decimal is to be base 10 so d if you look at this button x button you see d is stands for decimal so you press it this number now will change to base 10 just press this value so guys this is the conversion in in base 10 27 word base 10 it's as simple as that guys very very easy if you want to see it in 
binary again all you have to do is to press this button again and you see it in the results if you want to go back to base 10 press this go back to base 10 as simple as that guys that's for question one okay let's solve question two it says convert this number this value to base eight okay guys so let's put this back to base two so press binary this value okay so let's remove this let's move this guys and impute this value we have one zero one one zero one okay so this question to remember so question two is correct so i want to change it to base 10 first of all let's press the guys okay so to put this to to base eight sorry we want to put in base eight to put this in base eight guys very simple base eight is something as octa it's either you say base eight or you say octa in this calculator what they have here is octa if you check this name button you see oct so it's time for what octa so you press this name button and it will change to base eight it's the value in base eight very simple guys let's press it so as you can see 55 was base eight so this is a conversion of this value what to base eight is 55 base eight you want to change it back simply press this binary and if you go back to the base two format after the binary press it so this is the if you want to go back to base eight press this name that's base eight very, very simple guys so let's show question three question three says convert 65 base 10 to what base two very, very simple guys so let's wipe this and go back to base 10 convert this value to base 2. Okay, that this is my previous number. So this octa will change to what decimal that will be 10. So let's put 65. 65 press equal to okay. So to change this to base 2, just press this binary button. So this is the result in what base 2. So 65 in base 2 is what 1000001 base world 2. So that's the value in what base two to go back to base ten. Just press decimal is decimal. So sixty five for base ten. So go back to base two. Press binary. So this is the value in what base two. So that's for question three. Okay, guys. Hope you learned something interesting. Now let's look at question four quickly. So you say convert 46 base 8 to what base 2. Very, very simple, guys. So let's wipe this out and change this binary to octa. So we press this name button. So it's not octa. So we press for 46. So 46 base 8 to base 2. First of all, let's press record here. So this is the value in base 8. To change it to base 2, we just press this binary here. So this is the value in what base 2. 46 base 8 to base Two is one zero zero one one zero what base two. That's simple as that, guys. You want to go back to the octave value that base eight? Just press this name button. So forty six base eight to go back to binary. Press this this number in binary base two. That's simple as that, guys. So let's look at question five. We are asked to add these two binary numbers. So okay, guys, before we solve question five. If you are new to our channel, you should hit the subscribe button now to subscribe to our channel for instant notifications anytime we release new video. This is a ghost class. What we do basically here is to give your scholars like you tips and other necessary information that will help to simplify your academic problems. So if such tips and information interest you, you love to be getting them directly from us. You should hit the subscribe button now, guys, to subscribe to our channel and also give this video a thumbs up like this video guys very, very important and having known that let's quickly solve question five after question five we solve the rest so we have to add this values base two so very, very important is already in binary without base two so quickly just impute one 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 zero plus we have one zero one one so then base two first of all so to see the value okay the addition 
give us one one zero zero one base two so we add these two numbers in base two is what you get so let's check for the subtraction aspect of it based on six let's remove this so we have dr one zero one zero one okay minus we have one one zero one so it's as simple as that guys in base two so we press the code and get the value the result or the answer so guys this is it we have it to be one zero 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 base one two so that for question is very interesting guys now let's solve question seven still in base two we have to find the product of is that's one one zero one base two in backwards the power two that's we should multiply that value to two times so very, very easy guys just what you do just one one zero one remember it's in base two yeah of course times since it's multiplication one one zero one so is raised to power two that means you do it two times and even to raise to power three you do it three times but this is raised to power two simple mathematics you do it for two times so let's put the question and get our result or our answer cool so that is the value one zero one zero one zero zero one base word two and as simple as that guys very very interesting so let's look at question eight and after it we look at the very last question for this video very interesting guys okay so question that's why this says convert 1000 okay 1150 base 10 to what base 16 that's to is a decimal another time for base 16 is what is a decimal so either you call say is a decimal or base 16 so that means this is the manner you change to is decimal so base to decimal rather 10 that's base 10 to do that just press this button this button this binary will change to decimal okay so let me the value we have one one five and what zero that's base in base 10 let's press the call to first okay guys so to convert this value to base system look at when you look at this button this button used for imputing powers and values if you see h e x in capital letter it stands for hazard decimal so you press it and you see the value in base 16 so guys this is the value in base 16 four seven e now i want to say something very important here when you talk in, in hazard decimal base 16 now 10 represents a in hazard decimal 11 represents b 12 represents c 13 represents d 14 represents what e in that other guys very, very simple so that's it guys very, very simple so, the, so this is the answer word is a decimal now to bring it back to base 10 if you want to change it this value to base 10 press about how to do this to press this decimal button so to get get you back to this one one five zero one base ten to go back to base system just press this the decimal button so it, it will bring you back to this so this is how you can convert from base 10 to base system from base system to base 10 is as simple as that guys so that's it now let's quickly look at the last question question nine after it call this for the class okay so question now it says we should buy this value and this value they are both in base eight so let's remove this and put them and put this one in octa that's base eight so we have what one three three zero five divide thirty five okay very, very simple guys let's put one and see the results so we have it to be what three one one word base eight so this is basically how you can use the calculator to solve problems involving number based conversion and also to add number bases or binary numbers so as you can see 
we doctor had to convert from base two to base ten, from base two to base eight, from base ten to base sixteen. If I have one base to another, so guys, I hope you learned something very interesting. If you have gotten value once more. If you are new to our channel, be sure you hit the subscribe button now to subscribe to our channel. If you have not done that, also like, share, and comment on this video to tell me how you feel regarding what you have learned in this class. If you seem to have any specific questions to ask, feel free to leave your question in the comment section below and I will be sure to give you a response. That's it for this class guys. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to play a calculator once you're done. To do that, just press shift button now you follow the instruction. You want to initialize all, then press the quote and press the quote again. So that's it guys. We are good to go. Thanks for watching.